She is a heroine to some. As a fighter for black rights, she is a villain to others who believe she hides her crimes behind revolutionary rhetoric. Back in the 1970s, Asada Shakur was known as the soul of the self-styled Black Liberation Army, an armed group implicated in the killings of several police officers. In New Jersey, Governor Whitman has posted a $50,000 reward for her capture. Meet her now in Cuba. As she walks through Havana streets, she is just another shopper. She passes almost unnoticed by Cubans. Her name is Asada Shakur. In the United States, she is known by the police and FBI as Joanne Chesimard, one of the nation's most wanted fugitives. Wanted for what police describe as the cold-blooded execution of a New Jersey state trooper back in the 70s. She denies it and says of the state cops, uh, They want to just kill me. They want to see me dead. Chesimard was convicted in the killing of Trooper Werner Foster and the wounding of another trooper in a furious shootout on the New Jersey Turnpike in East Brunswick. That's where Chesimard was wounded and one of two men in the car with her was killed. The other later captured. Police say that after Trooper Forrester was shot down, his own gun was ripped from his holster and two bullets were fired into his brain. After her capture in that deadly shootout, she was sentenced to life in prison. In 1979, with the help of three armed men, she broke out of the women's prison in Clinton, New Jersey. She made her break this afternoon from the prison in Clinton, New Jersey, and lawmen once called her the soul of the Black Liberation Army. Chesimard went underground and then surfaced in the 1980s in Cuba under Fidel Castro's protection. Now, at 50 and a grandmother, she agreed to talk with me in Havana. Chesimard, or Asada Shakur, insisted she had killed no one and was railroaded by an all-white jury and by what she called racist New Jersey state troopers. Did you shoot Werner Foster? No, I did not. I was shot with my arms in the air, then shot again in the back, and then left on the ground to die. That is absolutely false. Our investigation shows that uh, Joanne Chesimard initiated the, uh, the conflict. She reached into her pocketbook pulled out a 9 millimeter weapon and started firing at Trooper uh, Harper. Were you holding a weapon? No, I was not. No. Well, after almost 25 years, the roadway area has changed somewhat, but this is the spot where the shooting occurred. Joanne Chesimard was in the front seat on the passenger side. The driver of the car and Trooper Forrester were in the back of the car. It was after midnight, and shots rang out. Harper, who was the other police Correct. that was at the, the scene, other trooper. started to shoot. And, you know, after that, everything is like foggy. It was, it was horrible. It was like a prolonged version of hell. You know, I felt like, you know, everything was moving around. My chest started to explode. My head started to explode. And the next thing I knew, you know, they were um, coming by me and saying, is she dead yet? Is she dead yet? And I was later taken to a hospital. Um, and I was um, beaten. I was tortured. I think that, uh, you know, as, as so happens so often with the, with the criminal element, uh, they have a tendency to, uh, to turn things around and uh, they become the victim. We've got to remember that, number one, there's a trooper who is dead. And why did Asada Shakur escape from prison using hostages as a shield instead of appealing her case to higher courts? I never received justice, and I escaped, A, because I was afraid for my life, and B, because I knew that I would never receive justice. As to Chesimard's claim that she was left on the ground to die, Colonel Williams told me she and her Confederate actually sped away in their car five miles down the turnpike before she was finally captured, and that it was Trooper Forrester who was left on the ground to die. The Clinton, New Jersey prison from which Chesimard escaped has been rebuilt with much tighter security. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here, and then click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.